babies make honey for themselves, not humans. It's their food. Follow me. I'll show you. Did you know that a bee can reach the speed of 16 miles an hour? But you're not at the end of your surprises. Come on. I'll explain everything. Honeybees live in colonies and have surprising behavior. Starting with their flawless organization. The queen, for example, ensures the descendants of the colony. She can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day. The workers do everything. They feed, build, clean, forage, and ventilate when it gets too hot. And go and fetch water, and of course, protect the hive. <sighs> it's quite an undertaking. Fortunately, there are a lot of them. The males are called drones. Their main goal is the fecundation of the future queens. They're fed by the worker bees, so they really have the good life. At least, in the beginning. Because after coupling, they die straight away. Ooh, that really kills my buzz. <gasps> oh no! And now it's going to rain! Quick, get shelter! To protect themselves from the weather, bees colonize in cities or out in the country. In any kind of shelter, either natural or man-made. The hives made by humans are designed to make collecting honey easier. They're simple, but comfortable. Too bad there's no TV. Want to come for a visit? Inside a hive, there are mobile frames. They're used as support for the bees to build their wax cells. In the central cells, where it's hottest, the bees raise the larvae. This zone is home to the brood. All around it, the bees stock the honey needed for the survival of the colony. When the hive is full, the beekeeper adds honey supers, in which the bees continue stocking honey. Only the excess honey will be taken and consumed by humans. To protect the hive from bad weather, it's all covered by a roof. Impressive, don't you think? When you think that a hive contains an average of 20 to 80,000 honeybees, the problem, when there are so many of us, is that we need to communicate to be able to work effectively. So, honeybees emit pheromones. It's like using different perfumes to transmit all our information. But that's not all. We also dance, which helps worker bees indicate where a forage zone might be found. Here we go. If the food source is a few meters away from the hive, the bee that found it will dance in a circle. If the food source is far away, it will dance figures of eight. The orientation of the eight gives the direction of the forage zone in relation to the sun's position. The bee also indicates the distance, the quantity, and the quality of the food source by changing the rhythm at which it shakes its abdomen. And that's not all. The workers palpate the finder bee with their antennae to get to know the smell of the plants. So, now let's get into the practical side of things. <laughs> to make their honey, the honeybees gather the nectar made by flowers. It's a sweet juice that they suck up with their tongues, then mix with their saliva. Back at the hive, they regurgitate it all to another bee. The sweet juice will go from bee to bee until the sugars are all digested. The nectar, now turned into honey, is then stored in cells and dried by fanning bees. Honeybees also gather pollen, a fine dust that, like the honey, is mainly used as food. The bee 
gathers, the bee brings back. The bee gathers, the bee brings back. Gathers, brings back. Gathers, brings back. Oh, it's exhausting. So, now let's count. Considering a honeybee gathers from 250 flowers in one hour, to produce one gram of honey, it needs to visit 7,500 flowers. How much time will it take to gather the juice needed to produce a kilo of honey? So, have you got the answer? Well, it's easy. It takes 30,000 hours for a bee to gather what we need to produce one kilo of honey. The distance traveled is equivalent to going around the world four times. Yes, that is enormous. All these numbers make my head buzz. <sighs> Let's get some fresh air. If a plant can't move, how does it reproduce itself? It's simple. It gives and receives in exchange. The flower feeds the insect by giving nectar and pollen. The insect helps the plant reproduce by transporting the pollen grains. It's called pollination. How does it work? Aha! Let's have a look. The flower contains the plant's reproductive organs. According to its species, a flower can be female, male, or both at the same time. Attracted by the smell and color of the flower, the insect covers itself in pollen, the reproductive element produced by a plant's male organs. As it goes from flower to flower, the insect then transports pollen to the plant's female organ, thus ensuring its fertilization. The fertilized flower will then turn into a fruit containing seeds. When their time comes, these seeds will give life to new plants, and so it goes. Of course, bees aren't the only ones that pollinate plants. There are also butterflies, bumblebees, and many others. But honeybees have an important place because they help fertilize over 200,000 species of flowers. Without these insects, no apples, strawberries, tomatoes, pears, sunflowers, cherries, squash, dandelions, lavender, hawthorn, wild cherry, blueberries, salvia, orchids, leeks, carrots, radishes, onions, endives, cabbages. Do you realize that due to their evolution, bees and flowers have become inseparable and contribute massively to plant biodiversity? Nature spoils us. Such beauty, such diversity. But be careful. Let's not spoil nature. Every year, more bee colonies disappear. The destruction of so many hedgerows and meadows, along with pesticides, illness, and climate change, as well as predators such as the Asian hornet, are the principal causes of decline. But all is not lost. It's your turn to act, to think, and to help preserve life and biodiversity. See, bees do extraordinary things. They help plants reproduce, and by making honey, they help men feed themselves. Thanks to bees, there's honey, jam, fruit, chocolate, coffee, orange juice, and flowers on this table. Don't forget, the richness and diversity of your countrysides help preserve bees' health, and good healthy bees help preserve biodiversity. Everything is a matter of balance.